Hi hey guys, today I'm going to do a small demo of my Console-Eyes uh, Game Boy Advance. So I'm using a GBA uh, HD uh, open source project in conjunction with uh, Blue Retro. So let's just sync the controller. So, so what's great here, you're not uh, forced to use a Super NES controller anymore. So you can use uh, any Bluetooth device you got to play your Game Boy Advance game. We have a other button. Yeah, so we also have the GBA HD uh, OSD menu. So to access it with Blue Retro, you only press the home button on your controller. And then you can set the, the value setting here. And then you press home button once more to get out. So let's just, uh, so that's it for the quick demo. So now I'm going to give you a quick look at the internal of, the, of my console uh, GBA. Alright, so what's a bit unique uh, with my solution? So uh, unlike uh, the, the regular GBA HD in which you need uh, the Spartan Edge accelerator board, but on top of that, you need to use a, a regular Arduino for the control to use a Super NES uh, controller. So what's a bit unique, and what I'm doing is that uh, the C board already got the ESP32 on board. So that ESP32 uh, usually is only used to bootstrap the FPGA. So it's gonna read from the SD card. Uh, the bitstream for the FPGA and then it's gonna program it on the FPGA through the FPGA uh, config uh, bus. So what I'm doing here with uh, Ruto is that uh, instead of using the Arduino firmware that does the FPGA bootstrapping, I'm uh, installing uh, Blue Retro directly uh, on the ASP32 that is on board the C board. And then what the I added support uh, in Blue Retro to uh, configure the FPGA. So the first thing when a Blue Retro boot is gonna configure the the bit stream uh, of the GBA HD project. So the the bit stream uh, is now on the ESP32 flash uh, w on the Blue Retro file system. So we're in a Blue Retro is gonna take this file and then program it on the FPGA uh, at boot. And also what I also added uh, in uh, Blue Retro is the support for the GBHD uh, on-screen display. So this is done through uh, a single wire that's running uh, one wire, uh, a little bit like uh, Nintendo 64 uh, controller works, except this one it's uh, unidirectional. So it's only uh, an output uh, from Blue Retro and it's sending uh, only one byte that contains the uh, six button and also uh, the OSD uh, enable uh, stats a bit. So that's pretty much uh, what I needed to add in Blue Retro to support GBHD and obviously uh, the 10 uh, button that support through uh, only a parallel uh, parallel I/O. So so that's uh, quite simple and was already uh, supported in Blue Retro. The problem with the C board is the there's no I/O or mostly no I.O. from the ESP32 uh, that is exposed uh, to any header. So the only uh, pin that you can get access to are the I2C pin on the groove header over there. So we have two pins, you have direct access easily. But then uh, for the GBA you need at least uh, 10 I.O. for the button. And also uh, Bluetooth itself it needs uh, another I.O. for the, the LED, the status LED, and you need uh, for the, the boot button, but the boot button is already uh, taken care of, so that's not an issue. So what I'm doing to get more I.O. is that uh, between the FPGA and the ESP32, they have a 6-pin uh, bus for Quad SPI, so it's not used by GBHD, so uh, I'm taking uh, those lines for the button, and as well I'm removing the SD card function. So from the SD card uh, I can get uh, another uh, additional uh, 
four pins. So it's using seven pin, but I'm only using uh, four of those. And then uh, that allows me to wire up all the button and also the FPGA uh, on screen display for uh, GBA HD. So the way I hook this up is that uh, I need to rework the board a little bit. So I have to remove uh, a few uh, resistance to get access to the pad to wire up the, the button. So on, underneath the board, there's a uh, three connection you have to do. So for those, what I do is that I move them on some uh, unused pin on, uh, on the header uh, so we can uh, easily wire them from the top. Power from a 9 volt uh, power supply. So it's going straight into the battery jack and then the diode to protect from uh, reverse polarity. It's going in the power switch and then I input 9 volt into the V-in pin of the power header. So we notice here that my uh, C board is configured to use uh, external V-in and not USB power. So the GBA is taking a 3.3 volt power from uh, from the C board. The other connection here is just for the status LED of uh, Blue Retro. And then uh, obviously you have the GBA HD uh, LCD tap uh, connection also the audio and then all the button that's actually going to pins uh, like i said that uh, repurpose for the 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 blue retro uh, control the button and then here uh, instead of uh, just uh, wearing the back of the seaboard uh, it's a bit uh, annoying so what i did uh, is i'm using a mini uh, hdmi uh, adapter to regular hdmi and I'm just uh, growing that in the corner here. So two open source projects on the on the same board to make uh, a pretty good uh, solution for uh, consolizing your uh, Game Boy Advance. So again, uh, if you want to see a detailed instruction on how to build this, uh, check out uh, my the wiki page uh, on the Blue Retro GitHub. So I put a link in the video description. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.